On December 27th, YouTuber Foolish Baseball tweeted this, a fascinating stat about Nick Lodolo of the Cincinnati Reds. Studies have shown that strikeout rate minus walk rate is a tremendous way to predict future performance. And it's always a good thing to keep the ball on the ground, meaning Nick Lodolo could be in for a huge season in 2023. As soon as Foolish tweeted this, I went into research mode. As a Brewers fan, I was already somewhat familiar with Lodolo as an NL Central pitcher. He made three starts against the Brewers in 2022, allowing six earned runs in 18.2 innings while striking out 21 hitters. Not bad at all. But if we're being honest, I didn't know much about the left-handed rookie. So I fired up baseball reference and something immediately caught my eye. Well, two things actually. The first being his strikeout numbers. Lodolo struck out 131 batters in 103 innings. I thought that was fairly impressive until I dug even deeper. I ended up being blown away because in 2022, Lodolo became the second rookie pitcher in Major League Baseball history to strike out at least 130 batters in fewer than 105 innings. The only other pitcher to do that? Reliever Dellen Betances in 2014 when he struck out 135 batters in 90 innings. Lodolo, who finished with a 3.66 ERA and a 3.9 FIP, earned just two Rookie of the Year votes, which I think was a little low. But to be fair, there were a plethora of excellent rookies. Still, I think Lodolo is underrated. The other stat that caught my eye is what this video is about and why you're all here. Everyone loves to talk about hit by pitches, don't they? Oh, you don't talk about that with your friends while sipping Miller High Lifes? Am I the weird one? Anyway, as I was browsing the Dolo's baseball reference page, I noticed that he hit 19 batters in 2022. You heard that right, 19. Not only did he lead the National League in this category, he led all of baseball as well. But here is where it gets interesting because Lodolo also tied a major league record. Lodolo is now proudly, well, maybe not proudly, the owner of the record for most hit by pitches in 19 or fewer starts. He clunked 19 hitters in 19 games. A pitcher by the name of John Foreman also achieved that feat in 1895, but he threw nearly 30 more innings than Lodolo, and it was obviously a much different time and a different looking sport. To me, Lodolo stands alone. Lodolo's record-breaking campaign began on April 13th, his first start of the season and Major League career. In the top of the second inning, Lodolo threw a curveball and skimmed Ernie Clement's toe on his back foot. Five batters later, with the bases loaded, Lodolo hit Jose Ramirez, once again clipping his back foot with yet another curveball. Let's bring out a curveball counter to see how many of Lodolo's 19 hit-by-pitches came via the curve. Fun! Number three came on July 5th, when he grazed Eduardo Escobar's arm. This came on a sinker, not a curveball. On July 10th, he plunked Brett Phillips with a fastball. Six days later, he hit Amudo Sosa's elbow with a fastball, though Sosa clearly was trying to get hit. In that same game, Lodolo also hit Tyler O'Neill with a curveball and Brendan Donovan with a sinker. We are now at seven hit by pitches through just six starts for Lodolo. On August 6th, Lodolo smashed formerly great baseball player Christian Yelich, and this is important because this would be the last time Lodolo hit a batter with something other than a curveball. He hit Patrick Wisdom a week later. He plunked JT Real Muto twice in two games. He aimed for the foot of Joey Manessis and found his target. And he nudged the toe of Luke Voigt. You know what I think this video needs? A foot counter. Yep, I'm adding one. Hit by pitch 14 came on September 9th when he hit Tyrone Taylor's knee. Five days later, he found a foot again in Diego Castillo. On September 20th, Nick Lodolo's foot fetish was put on full display when two of three batters he hit against the Boston Red Sox were hit in the foot. I guess it's better to be hit with a curveball than a fastball, but even an 82-mile curveball could break some toes. Lodolo finished his record-breaking year with his 19th and final hits batsman on October 1st. On a 2-2 count, Lodolo revved up his curveball in an attempt to get strike three. Instead, it found Nelson Velasquez's foot. Shocker. So there you have it. All 19 of Lodolo's hit by pitches. Let's look at the final numbers. 19 hit by pitches, 14 from the curveball, and 10 of them hit the feet. Where else are you going to find a breakdown like this? I fully believe that Nick Lodolo is on the path to stardom. I think Cy Young votes are definitely in his future, but he will have to work on his curveball command. 10 of his curveball plunks came with two strikes. Lodolo gave away just too many outs last year by hitting batters. If he is able to hone in on fixing this, watch out. Now. Is this an irrelevant stat, or does it mean something? That's for you to decide.